this channel. I'll be talking about whatever I fucking want. About three years ago, my first YouTube video that I ever made got over 130 views. And I was extremely proud of that. Over time, another video I made, which was about Bad Bunny, who's no longer called Bad Bunny anymore, had over 230 views. Another video I made prior to that was one of the most popular ones. Like, there's one about Brady Sluter, who at the time did not take Colonel Virus seriously, so he had to apologize for what he has done. And then the number viral video was that I made was the great big story. It was shutting down by CNN, which I surpri surprisingly didn't know that CNN did own the great big story for a while, or at least acquired it. And I also talked about this Sloan YouTuber who Sloan really tried his hardest to defame Bob Saget. His video at the time was either privated or unlisted because he apparently got a cease and desist letter. And so I talked about it and, you know, he was spreading false information. And surprisingly, that got at least 4K views. Then, of course, is the Team Limit and Sulks video I made because this was a very weird situation because of, well, what happened at the time. Team Limit removed Sulks after someone at Team Limit approved the clip of that video and didn't take the time to actually review the content to make sure if it was okay to upload it just because they were too much in a rush and wanted to get the video out on time. And by the way, the video of that time also had a crude joke in there. So again, I don't know why Team Limit Management didn't review the video in the first place. And I still don't know why to this day either. So I hope they've learned this lesson since and hopefully they continue to not fuck up. I remember three years ago that I made a video about Caitlin Bennett getting owned by an Akron University student who at the time was a gay boy and he basically owned her because Caitlin Bennett was trespassing at Akron University. She was belittling the college students who actually have the right to be there on college property and Caitlin Bennett did not. So clearly she doesn't live in Akron, Ohio and she should not have been there. That is how she starts to bother people who were minding their own business and they did not want her welcome in Akron University. And I also love the part when Joshi said that Caitlin Bennett should get a degree and learn another language. Now, another video that I made two years ago was about Harbor Seneca and his so-called grooming victim. Because, you know, that grooming victim turned to be someone who isn't. And some of the tweets I saw on Twitter at the time said that Ivory Lasmus was lying about his age when he wasn't 18 at the time and he was 16 at the time when he met Pyro. So that was how I uh, knew Ivory wasn't telling the truth. I knew that Ivory wasn't a grooming victim because of how much he lied about being what. Prince of Poland was a YouTuber I made a video about who celebrated someone committing suicide who is also a YouTuber, or was. I didn't like that YouTuber at all because he wasn't very sympathetic about somebody who just died from committing suicide and he has like a full hate in his heart. So I wasn't going to stand by and let that occur. 
longer. So I called him out on his behavior. I called him out for saying that he was, that he is a coward for celebrating Apollo Legend's death from committing suicide. And I also called him out for being a coward for disabling likes and dislikes because he's not man enough to take the heat. So for about nearly three years later, I'm glad Prince of Fallen is gone. His career is over for good. Tom Young Oz was a ABC News anchor for ABC World News Tonight in the weekend. And I made a video about him because he was leaving ABC News to go to NBC News. And I still don't know to this day what his new role was back then until he went on the NBC News Now streaming service to to anchor his own broadcast, which I'm very, very happy with for him. All right, so Keemstar was talking with Nick Fuentes because Nick Fuentes called him out and said that Keemstar is a scum and he hoped that his YouTube channel gets banned and his platform gets deleted. I had to stand by Keemstar because when I made that video, guess what Nick Lantantis was? Yes, he's a right winger. I wasn't going to to stand with a, with a right winger who was going to pick fights with an adult and basically beg him to lose his platform for good. That's not the way you do about it. Another video that almost went viral this year was about Trayvon Sellers who staged or at least legitimately pranked a homeless person saying that he was going to give him food when he actually ate one himself basically tricking that old that homeless person so i had to call trayvon sellers for making a heartless prank he didn't even apologize so his youtube career was already down in a toilet i started making shorts content in 2021 and initially i thought it wasn't going to work in the long term because i didn't know whether if I was supposed to at least create a shorts account or post it on my main channel. So I stopped posting YouTube shorts on my channel on August 14th, 2021. Then I came back on January 20th, 2023 because I've decided that I wasn't going to make a YouTube Shorts channel because if I did, obviously I wouldn't have the passion to keep switching account to account and upload or make YouTube Shorts on there for the sake of it. So instead, I have to post I have to post my YouTube Shorts on my main channel, which is much easier this way. And so, ever since then. Especially right now, I started loving it. And every time I post now, I almost get a decent amount of a thousand views per video. So whether you're, you are here for my takes on Anthony Vargas or Anna Kasparian, Sam's Club, Stephen Crowder, City by Karen stealing a black boy's like, or mostly the Kai Stanad situation in New York's Union Square. I want to thank you for everything. Thank you for helping me reach up to this point for almost four years now. Without you, I probably wouldn't be able to make it to my favorite number of all time. And if you also came to my long form content when I talked about Caitlin Bennett and many others, well, thank you as well. Thank you for everything. Because without you, I wouldn't be able to reach the number where I am at now, which is surprisingly over 225 but still great celebration to explore and enjoy. Until the next milestone, I hope my content will improve over time.